Hello, my name is Visu Swantam. I am Principal Solution Architect in Telco IBU, part of go-to-market team focusing on OSS BSS workload. Welcome to MWC. In this demo, we are going to talk about how operators can move their mainframe applications to AWS. The key challenges with mainframes are, it's a high cost, very difficult to run mainframes on with the capital expenditure, and also with mainframes, it brings limited agility to make any changes to support 5G use cases like B2B billing. It requires a lot of changes and longer time. You also have constrained innovation to implement DevOps, DevSecOps, microservice-based architecture. It's more difficult in mainframe. Another important challenge is the increasing risk is lack of SMEs and developers supporting mainframes and also the fragmented security and compliance point of view. How AWS is going to help in mainframe modernization? We offer a three-layer cake. At the bottom, we have the accelerators for any project where you can do data replication, file transfer to AWS, and you can implement AI ML solution for augmentation. At the middle, you have tools for uh, refactoring and uh, replatforming with partners. At refactoring, we have AWS Blue Ace, which will migrate, which will help you to migrate the code from mainframe into Java-based applications. With Generative AI, we have announced Q Developer, Q Transform for mainframe, which is an agentic AI framework, which is at, at this time in preview. We can reimagine the code and it can be applied for any pattern for mainframe. And we also have announced, we will, in the roadmap, we have partner extension capabilities. So now let's talk about Amazon Q Developer. Q Developer, you can point your existing code and it can do the complete code analysis. It can identify all the existing code, how you have written, okay? And it can generate the documentation at scale. It can also identify any code dependencies, what all the acronyms you have used. The key in mainframe modernization is document generation because over the years of mainframe you lost the documentation that can that is going to be very key in modernization it is also going to do decomposition how the different modules of the code is there in billing you have rating billing how you are sending the fee to backend applications okay in case of charging okay how the real time charging all that analysis can be done in code composition depending on your priorities and intent okay it can also help you in migration wave planning you can based on that you can optimize you can prioritize and optimize what uh, which modules which applications you want to first it can do that it can also help you in converting existing code from cobol to java uh, all and also to purpose built databases into aws it can help you with this with q transform with human in the loop you can also have in-domain expertise with AWS, okay? You can also interact with agents and also with human in the loop, you can make it better. What are the business benefits for this? Key is going to be you are moving away from CapEx to OpEx. Cost is going to be important benefit you are going to say. The idea here is to code analysis and document generation can be up to 90% faster than if it is done by SMEs. Important aspect of mainframe modernization is faster projects. With Q developer, you can reduce the time up to five times faster. With cloud native architecture and running the code on AWS on EC2s, the modernization results is going to be faster. You can make this efficient for uh, 5G use cases. Skill and innovation is going to be one of the key benefit because as you have more developers and partner community on AWS and EC2, we can go with this further. Let us look at a billing application demo, which is on mainframe and how we can migrate from mainframe to AWS. So here, it's an agentic framework. We are asking mainframe, hey, let us perform 
a mainframe modernization on AWS, how you can help me. So here it is saying that the high level task Q can do is analyze the code, generate the documentation, decompose the code, and also plan the migration sequence and refactor the code. So now the operator, now, the, uh, now as we do, let us say, hey, let's help with all of them. Okay, let's see how we can do all of them. Okay, so it is creating the job. All of the code is transferred into S3. Okay, S3, once the code is transferred into S3, we are going to validate the code. Okay, you are going to validate the code and you are going to an analyze the code analysis okay that's what it's getting here once the secure point of view co copy verification link and connection once the connection is validated it is validating the code what resources you have to modernize and it is analyzing all the code here okay so that is the key here in with the SMEs it's very it takes longer time with here you can uh, validate the code in millions of lines of code in minutes point once the code is analyzed, okay, we are generating the code. Code generation is going to be key, and you can make sure that all the business laws, the customization, what we have done is preserved and also documented to make, make sure what was done is the same thing. So now we are reviewing the documentation the results, okay, document is generated, and we are reviewing the documentation results. Once you are good with that, let's go and decompose the code into different modules. The different modules decomposition is going on here, auto pay credit card information is the key here auto pay credit card information we are just trying to decompose and we are moving to uh, next phase of that okay so create once the decomposition is created different uh, different types of this one here based on our priorities it is creating a waves of what is the first one you should be doing what is the next one you should be doing all the things and you can adjust based on your priorities and key thing so once it is done the final step is going to be refactoring the code. Once the refactor code, code is going to be generated in Java, Java based and Spring Boot, okay? Spring Batch also based on the batch sites. Now the code is refact uh, refactoring code, okay? That's what is happening here. Once the code is refactored, you can apply that into, you can run that into EC2s and you can apply all the cloud native principles like auto scaling all of that you can apply that okay self healing auto scaling you can do that and the amazon q developer is very well integrated with all the features of security logging monitoring into aws this makes the migration project easy okay the key here is you can maintain the same code what you have done uh, what you had and reduce the time to time to convert into aws thank you